Today at Parliament, the Right Honorable Speaker Anita Amu led members of the August House in prayers and a vigil in memory of the late Honorable Sarah Mateke Nyirabachitsi, who has been the district woman representative for Chisoro and also Minister of State for Defense, who passed away on Saturday, the 7th September 2024, due to heart attack. The service was also graced by the presence of the family of the late and religious leaders including the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, the Most Reverend Dr. Stephen Samuel Kazimba Mugalu, who was the guest preacher. Personally, when I heard this, I was shocked, really. I want to thank all of you for coming to say your goodbyes to my mom. She would truly be grateful to all of you. Dr. Kazimba reflected on the memories of the late Mateke, whom he praised for embodying a humble disposition. And uh, she has been a, a humble lady. She comes and sits uh, far, far in the corner where you cannot see her. Because some other uh, people, especially members of parliament and religious leaders, when they come, even, if they, even when they come late, they always move forward. Even when there is no seat, they'll be looking around. Haven't you seen me? But Sarah was always sitting behind. His grace appreciated the late for her contribution to the church as he sought prayer and condolences towards the family. She has been a member of uh, our church and in uh, All Saints Cathedral. She has been coming a lot to worship. This is a great loss. We need to pray for for him and the entire family. While conveying his message to the family, Dr. Kazimba gave words of encouragement as he urged the congregation to accept God's plan for the mankind on earth. You know this world is good, but there are a lot of tribulations. But God is giving us hope that yes, you are going through this, but this is not the end of it all. His grace also called on religious and political leaders to revise means that can help reduce the risks, especially death, that comes with the high cases of HIV. We can postpone death by changing our behaviors. We can postpone death by the way we handle our souls. And we still call upon religious leaders and MPs to continue talking about it so that we can postpone death. Some of the top government leaders, including Speaker Among, shared their heartfelt message about the late Honorable Sarah Mateke. He was indeed a devoted servant of God. Honorable Mateke was not only a remarkable leader, but also a passionate advocate for the welfare of children. Because of such a young, resourceful, and distinguished leader that we had in Sarah Mateke. And as a Minister of State for Defense, will be profoundly missed. Her legacy of dedication and selfless service will continue to inspire us and guide us forward. The speaker took the opportunity to call on members to unite and desist from fights and instead stay in harmony. Honorable members, this is your family where you belong. Love each other. Be there for each other. Don't waste any time in grudges, in fights, in wars. Have peace and love each other. Tomorrow the body will be taken to All Saints Cathedral Kampala for a funeral service at 8 a.m. and later Parliament will be holding a special sitting in honor of the late Honorable Sarah Nira Bashitsi Mateke at 2 p.m. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God.